Introduced in 2010, the third generation Lexus LX remained popular among customers looking for a luxury crossover utility powered by either a conventional gasoline drivetrain or a hybrid one. The current RX received its most important update for the 2014 model year, with the vehicle gained Lexus spindle grille now available on most of the lineup, LED daytime running light, and a pair of reshaped tail lights, upgrade or more substantial equipment wise. But we're not here to talk about the 2014 model, we're here to talk about the all new 2015 Lexus RX 350 version which is currently out and it's time to have a look at what Lexus is offering on the RX 350. So like all of my other videos we're going to be doing a full review of the interior, exterior, engine and we're going to listen to the exhaust sounds. So here's the remote for the car. On the remote we got the lock, unlock, trunk release and the panic button. Let's go ahead and unlock the car and take a closer look at the interior. Alright and if you want to see this car in white, same model, same year, simply press on the link above here. So this model here have the smart keyless access entry. All you have to really do is leave the keys in your pocket or purse. You can simply press right here to lock the door from the outside or to unlock, pull on the handle once and the second time it will be unlocked. Here's a quick look of the inside. Inside is all leather. Looks very nice and clean. Let's go ahead and jump into the driver's seat now. And we're in the driver's seat to start the engine. All you have to do is push your foot on the brake and press the start button. And the engine is on. Let's go ahead and give it a few revs. Now let's go ahead and take a closer look under the hood. There's going to be a metal piece down here. All you have to do is lift it up and raise the hood. Under the hood, the 2015 Lexus RX350 is built with a 3.5 liter, 270 horsepower, 24 valve V6 engine with variable valve timing. It is a 6 speed automatic transmission with built in snow mode drive, fuel economy wise. The RX350 gets 18 miles per gallon in the city. 25 miles per gallon on the highway and when combined it gets 21 miles per gallon and with the speed test the RX350 can get from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 7.7 .7 seconds and its top speed in the track is 112 miles per hour right here I'd like to show you where the battery rests right under there simply lift it up same goes for the fluid lift this up and you can change the fluid all right very nice and we're back inside now steering wheel have leather and wood as you can see leather and wood alternates which also feel very nice and comfortable on the left side here we got the different audio modes and volume up down with different channel modes also and that's the horn loud and clear with the Lexus logo to the right side we have the telephone answering option with voice command and the different option which you can press this button to display let's see as you can see on the odometer in the middle if you press that you will see parking assist and different driving mode display and you can use the arrow up down to switch from how to see how much mile you've been driving how much mile you get from a gallon of gas such things like that Behind the steering wheel we have the windshield wiper. Simply pull it towards you to release the windshield washer. That's the windshield intensity. And for the rear windshield wiper, you can control it by twisting the end knob here. And to release the rear windshield washer, push it all the way down or all the way up. Down here is the cruise control. Press the button on the end to turn the cruise control on. And you can tell it's on by seeing the clock display there. And to set and increase and decrease the speed, simply push it up or down. On this side, we have the different lights control with the right and left turn signal. Up for right, down for left. 
You can leave the headlamps on automatic or on or off and pull it towards you to turn on the high beam. And here's the fog light. Down here we have a small knob for you to control the steering wheel placement. You can move it up, down, away from you or towards you. Over here we have a uh, cup holder for the driver. Let's see what we have here. Odometer trip display. On the bottom as you can see it has trip A and trip B to see give you an idea of how many miles you've been driving. Odometer dimmer. Trunk and gas release button. Above our heads we have the sun view visor with a credit card holder. We also have a small piece of mirror. Here's a closer view of the GPS display. AC and heat vents with the emergency lights in the middle. Audio control and a CD input. Press it down once to turn it on. I'll let you listen to the music a bit here. That was a little bit of the audio system for you. That's what you use to tune the radio. Down here we have to have the dual AC heat climate control for both uh, driver and passenger. And here's the gear shift box. Push down your foot down on the brake. Pull the gear down to reverse. When you do that, rear view camera automatic display, which is a very nice and safety feature. Push it down to drive and push over to the left you'll be put into standard driving mode and after that you change your gear by pushing up or down and let's see we also have wood trim surrounding the middle part here which looks very nice it matches the gray color of the exterior color paint of the car here here's what you use to control everything that's going to be displayed on the uh, GPS screen here you can move it up down right left and to select simply push down on it menu and map button and if you open this, we have two cup holders down there. And we can also remove this middle piece for cleaning. Which is pretty nice. Now let's go ahead. Oh, here's the traction control. Press it once to turn it on or to turn it off. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the middle armrest compartment. Alright, in here we have the... Uh, Let's see, we have two knobs right here to control the heated and cool feature for the driver and passenger seat. Red for hot, blue for cold. In here we have an auxiliary input along with a USB input. And at the bottom we have a 12 volt AC outlet charger. And this piece we can remove. And way at the bottom here. It's like a secret compartment. You can raise this up and there's more storage space down there. Let me show you how much. As you can see, it's pretty deep down. I can put my whole arm in there. Oh, and, and a spot for you to put your pen. Glove box compartment. Also have the trunk lock button. Simply press that and you'll be not be able to open the trunk from the inside. Rear view mirror. Rear view mirror have built in a garage door opener. Simply input your garage door code and you can use these buttons to open and uh, close your garage doors. Up here we have the different lights control with the roadside assistant button in red here. Simply press that and you'll be automatically transferred to roadside assistant. Also on the left and right we have control which you can use to control to open your sunroof. Here's the sunroof. You can open it fully or you can simply tilt it. Let's go ahead and tilt it for you and show you the tilt function. There it is. And to open it fully you must uh, close it first before you can open it. And let me go ahead and go outside and show you what it looked like from the outside. Here it is. It's currently in the tilt function. 
roof of the car have two built-in rails which also enable you to carry more cargoes on top of the car which is also another nice feature looks pretty cool overall let's see what we have on the driver's side door here again more leather and wood trim four power window control with the lock and unlock button and side view mirror control we also have a button for you to fold and unfold the side view mirror side door compartment Lexus door seal which can be found on both driver and passenger side 10-way multiple seats adjustments forward backwards up down you can also tilt the back and bolt out the back for better comfortability and we have up to three uh, easy readjustment of the driver's seat here here's the hood release simply pull that out to open the hood let's take a look at the seat belts here you can move the seat belt placement up and down very smooth and soft and quiet also have a hand bar there All right, let's go ahead and uh, move to the back seat alright here's a quick view of the back let's raise this up alright let's see what we have over here have a power window control with a small spot for you to put coins and a cup holder now let's go ahead and jump inside all right again I'm five foot seven and I feel very comfortable and plenty of leg space give you a better idea of how much you'll get here's a quick view of the front from sitting in the back again here's the sunroof looks very nice down here we have two more AC and heat vents And let's show you the uh, middle armrest compartment back here. Have two more cup holders. And if you raise this up, we have more storage room. Above our heads are the light controls with a hand bore and a spot for you to hang your clothes same thing over here let's see the seat belt very smooth again here's a quick look of the trunk now for a closer look at the front as you can see in the middle we have the Lexus logo surrounded by a very awesome and attractive grill and the fog lights are located on the bottom right and left this specific model right here comes with the comfort package which include the Z9 HID headlamps LED fog lights and rain sensing wipers front bumpers also have built-in parking sensor which notify the driver when the car is too close to hitting something here's a quick view of the side view mirror side view mirror have built-in integrated LED turn signals now for a closer look at the wheels this specific models right here have 19 inch aluminum alloy wheels with all season tires and behind the wheels we have anti-lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution and brake assist now for a closer look at the rear as you can see in the middle we have the Lexus logo with the RX350 emblem on the bottom right corner along with the two cornering light rear bumper also have built-in parking sensors which also notify the driver when the cars get too close to hitting something down here as you can see there's hooks one on the left and one on the right 
we also have built in rear view camera let me go ahead and move over to the side and show you the spoiler as you can see the spoiler looks very nice and sporty spoiler also have built in parking brake now let's go ahead and open the trunk that's the rear view camera right there alright here's the trunk let's see what's in there we have the trunk nets with a whole bunch of uh, trunk mats first aid kit we have hooks on the left and on the right several more lights back here and a 12 volt AC outlet charger let's see let's turn the light on there it is and if you ever need more room for cargo you can simply fold down the seats both the right and the left let me show it to you all right let's go ahead and pull it out there it is plenty of room for uh, cargo and here's the trunk cover you can simply pull it out and lock it into place by inserting it into the hooks or you can remove the whole thing completely by pushing this button back and if you lift this up we have the spare tire and tools under there and to close the trunk you can do it manually or simply push this button right here Alright guys, that's all for today. Thanks everyone for watching and as always, if you have any questions, comments, or requests for core reviews, go ahead and leave me a comment below for more future core reviews. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and give our videos a thumbs up. Again, thanks everyone for watching and I'll see everyone in the next video review.